Hello everyone, it's Milos Kontroy. Welcome to this new tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to sync your video with your audio in a better way or your music. It's gonna involve accurately marking our beats and mark when the motion starts or something like that. And last but not least, varying the speed of the video to fit perfectly. So I'm going to discuss each one of those steps in, in details next. And one thing I love about video editing is that you, you may spend many hours editing an AMV without even realizing it. Well, <laughs> it's good if you were having free time, otherwise you are F-U-C-K-E-D. Anyway, let's get started. So first you need to download this, comp this zip file you can find the link in the description extract it and you will get those two files one of them one of them is audio song and one of them is a video just drop your video and you will get two tracks one for video and one for audio select the audio part and press U on your keyboard, then press delete. What it does is, is that it separates our audio from the video, so we can control every one of them individually. So we just delete the audio part, we don't need it, and then we add our, our part of our song. Let's first analyze our song. We have about four beats, or let's say three of them. One of them is around here, one of them is around here, and the last one is around here. And about the video, you will see that this guy swings the his sword around. So, and then the camera moves. So we have like two fast swings or sword moves one of them is here and this is the second one so we need to sync it with our two of our beats first we need to mark our beats so we have better timing and we can save our time if you come over here to this orange triangular and Press hold and take it to the left about mm, uh, 0.44 is good I think and what it does it will slow down our playback so we can identify our beats easier so if, if we play if we preview now if we press the space preview now we'll see how it will be playing slower than the normal rate <laughs> About, about here so press M on your keyboard to add a marker then play again it's like more it's like more vocals than beat anyway press M, uh, press M to add a marker so now we have so now we know when our vocal starts so now we are done with the first step the second step is to detect where our our character starts to move we come over here and press right arrow keep pressing it until we see when he starts move really fast so right here so what we can do we can split press s to split lead this part so if we keep moving forward by pressing the right arrow and here is our second swing so we split make sure that you are selecting the video when once you press s or oh, not here the previous frame okay so now we have to do those two swings and we know where they when they started 
so if we place this one right here you will see that the second swing will be out of phase with the song so we need to adjust that and how to do it we need to speed up this first clap so it can give space for the second one to fit in the song so we select our first swing then we come over here to the edge and once you see this box press and hold control and press hold and drag to the left and you will notice that our video has been shrinked or, or in other words this video will be played faster quicker so now this uh, here it's the start of, of our vocal or our beat so we need to move this one two frames to the left why we need to move two sets to the left also because YouTube usually ruins your time so I found that if you make it this way the timing will be better I don't know about you but this is what I felt like now we come over here and drag this part so if we play back now you will see how good our sync is oh. uh, double click here to take it back to the normal what we call normal uh, preview rate or play rate I'm not sure. uh, we see that it's out of sync bit here so uh, we move it two more frames to the left okay good now we need to sync the other one so now if we play back you see for some reason this this part was extended we need to delete it so now they match perfectly okay but we uh, we, we we may notice that our video is a bit faster than our audio so we move it about two frames and this part if you split here stretch it make it slower also by coming to the edge press and hold control and move it to the right so if we play back now you see how good our sync is and now I need to show you a, another quick example we have a song here we have a strong drum beat right here here okay and we have this video which turns into slow motion after a while so press tab to to drag the video under without the audio and now we need to detect where our motion uh, motion slow motion starts so if we keep go on to the right until we notice that the motion start to slow down it's right here see how quick the motion is here and right here exactly it starts to slow down so if we split bring it right here move it to frames for better timing and then drag this part along and that's it if we need to play it back nice so I think that's it so what we have to do we have first to find the the beats mark them accurately and then we need to detect when our motion starts or slows down or whatever and lastly we need to stretch or shrink our video I mean to play around with the with the speed of the video to make it fit i think that's it hope you learned something from this tutorial and see you next weekend it's milos control peace